be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Bases back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today, I'm going to be showing you the quickest way to create 808 patterns using the step sequencer in Logic Pro 10. All right, so check this out. First things first, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and create a software instrument track. And under this software instrument track, under instrument, what you're going to want to do is click uh, quick sampler. So go midway down uh, stereo and click that. And from there, what you want to do is drag and drop an 808 sound right on in here. So like you can come to splice um, or any kit that has 808s, you know what I'm saying? Any place that has 808s and you can just go ahead and drag and drop an 808 sound in here. So let's just drag that in there. So we would drag it in, right? And now we have our 808 sample ready to go. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is click on the scissors, okay? You're gonna see piano row, but you wanna to go to step sequencer. And from here, you wanna to go to where it says 16 steps, move that at least to 32 steps. And then this little yellow guy, move it to the very beginning, and now you're ready to start creating. So basically, you're gonna just go ahead and click on this guy and then put, uh, basically tap in a uh, simple 808 pattern. So we can do something like this. And that should do it, let's check it out. All right, so now that might sound, you know, like, you know, cool, but it doesn't sound like an 808, you feel me? It sounds more like a kick and it kind of sounds whack, but Let's go ahead and do what we can to make this even better, right? If you actually come over here where it says step on and off and go over here where it says velocity, click on velocity, and you're going to go all the way down here where it says tie, click on that. And what you could do with tie is basically extend these notes out and you can actually hear the 808 uh, sound better that way. So let's do it. And let's try that now. Now that's pretty cool, but what if you want to add a little bit of variation? Maybe you want to have the notes do like set, play at different notes. Just go back where you see tie and then go down one step below where it says note and click that. Now I can come over here and just push these notes up. And now we have a whole nother pattern here. Now let's say if we want to extend this pattern out, all you have to do is go right over here to the 32 steps and go to 64. And now I can um, adjust either this one or this one. So say if I wanted to start off like this. And the cool thing about this is you can always come in here to that track and then swap out your sounds as such. So I want to move this one. This is Bricks the Mains 808. Now let's check it out how it sounds. You know what I mean? So that's the quickest way for you to make 808 patterns using the step sequencer. All right. Please make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want more tips and more tricks on how to make beats in Logic Pro 10. And also make sure you go to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. Man, we got courses. We got sample packs. We got everything you need to make better beats 
um, specifically if you use Logic Pro 10, but we also have stuff for other people who use different DAWs as well, man. So we have some general, you know, courses as well for y'all. Anyway, go to the site, check it out, and also get subscribed to the channel because we're coming back to back with videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.